Hi everybody and welcome to my vlog 23. Before I begin today, I just want to take a short moment to thank all my viewers, all my fans, and all my subscribers because you guys are really the motivation that keeps me doing these vlogs and you're actually who I keep doing these for. So please keep writing to me and I know I don't get around to everyone as much as that I would like, but if there's anything you want to know about or any topics you'd like me to cover, I mean, don't feel afraid. Just drop me a line and I will try to answer all my questions and all my requests as best I can. So, that being said, on to the topic today, which I have decided to do on selfishness. I know this can be a little bit of a touchy subject, but I feel that it's worth talking about. So, I just want to say that it's really easy to lose sight of others when you're fighting such an internal and personal battle. Sometimes you think that other people don't matter. And sometimes transsexuals lose sight of who they actually love the most and really become very self-oriented. And it doesn't really take a genius to know why. I mean, it's pretty obvious. To get through this hard battle that you're going to face and endure, you really kind of sometimes have to stop caring about others and do what makes you feel happy, right? Yourself and, you know, it's, it's about you, what makes you happy, yourself, I, whatever. And that way of thinking can really lead to some selfish behavior. For those who have seen the documentary Change Generation and... Did I even say that right? Yeah, it's Change Generation. For everyone who has seen that, and if you haven't seen it, I really suggest that you do because it's actually a very, very good show. But anyway, there is this male-to-female transsexual on there called Gabby. And in one of the part of the shows, her sisters were being interviewed and they were really complaining pretty much about how me-oriented Gabby had become since she started her tr whole transition. And it's true. I mean, we do really get self-absorbed sometimes. And, you know, that's really the main reason why I always claimed that I couldn't live with a transsexual. Because they're so self-absorbed and sometimes that will cause some conflicts because I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm perfect I know that I'm I'm sometimes really selfish and sometimes I'm really really badly selfish and I guess I never really want to spend my money on other people because I always think hey I could be saving that up for my surgery or I could take that money and go buy clothes for myself or stuff like that and I I am so terrible like that it's it's really bad sometimes and I even I mean I'm gonna say that I even hurt the person that I love the most by being selfish she wanted to do some changes you know and maybe look a little bit different and I just got really selfish and didn't want to support that and tried to stop it and I'm thinking you know what kind of a bitch does that I mean, I know she's not thrilled about me getting my whole surgery and getting something she likes, you know, pretty much reworked or whatever. And I know she's not thrilled about that, but she's at least willing to support me and, you know, stand by my side. And, I don't know, I guess it really took me a while to realize that I was being selfish about it. And, you know, I really, really hurt my girlfriend by doing that. And I'm still so so sorry about that still sometimes it's hard to think of others when all your life everyone has been opposed to your need to transition and you just had to forget them I lost so many friends and I had to just let them go and forget them um, I've had some relationships that I've had to just let go and forget about and for a time I even pretty much felt that I was losing my family and I had to try and forget them so after all that forgetting, sometimes it's really difficult to come back and remember people again. But it's so important to remember that the universe does not revolve around you. You aren't the only person that's going to be suffering from the gender dysphoria, even though you're the only one that really feels that way. 
I guess what I mean to say is that there's others that it's going to hurt and affect, and they're all going to have to deal with it in their own way. And I know that it's easy to just write someone off and try and forget them sometimes, but sometimes it's also worth stepping back and trying to take a look at things from their point of view. I know the last thing that I would want is to be mislabeled or misunderstood because of an attitude that sometimes seems selfish. Like I said, I'm guilty of being really selfish myself. But I'm willing to admit that I'm wrong for being that way, and I'm willing to learn from my mistakes, which is really the main thing. Every relationship that you get and every friendship that you make is really so, so valuable, and you really should never take it for granted. I guess what I mean to say is don't tuck yourself into a shell of selfishness. Always be there for people like you would want them to be there for you. After all, a true friend, I guess this is something cheesy that I heard once, but a true friend only asks for your time, not your money. I'm not really sure what that has to do with anything, but it's worth saying anyway. Everyone that I know as a friend is really important to me, I guess. And actually, there's one little Australian girl out there that means so much to me that I can't put it into words. There's, there's really no words in the English language to say how much she means to me. And again, I'm really, really sorry for being so selfish. I'm glad it's all sorted out now because I would never want anything, you know, as trivial as that to come between us again. Because I know it's really important to you and I should have been more understanding. It's just that when I got sent on so many guilt trips for having my own opinions, the lines between, you know, being selfish and having a firm opinion just kind of got blurred. But I'm getting it into focus now. So to everyone out there, cherish every person that you know and try to be there for them. Maybe buy your parents something really nice as maybe like a Christmas present because they really deserve to be thought of as much as you do. And while you might have been at other's, each other's throats at times and you might not have seen eye to eye on things, it's still nice to think about them and show that you love them and through all the internal pain you still think about them. Or maybe give your old roommate a call and prove you're not as introverted and self-absorbed as they probably thought you were. Whatever, you know, whatever you choose to do, just make sure that you make an effort to think about somebody else. I mean, I guess that's the main point I'm trying to make. You know, it doesn't really matter what you do as long as you make the effort and think about someone else. It doesn't matter who or what you do, so, you know, whatever. I guess that's really all I have to say for right now. I'm I guess that I will see everybody next week for Vlog 24, and just before I go, I would like to thank everybody for watching, and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye till next time.